I can hardly believe my eyes. Here it is, the Taj Mahal, one of the seven wonders of the world. They say it is the epitome of love. Shah Jahan built this large mausoleum in honor of the memory of his favorite wife, Mumta Mahal. They were married 19 years with 14 children. Because of its brilliant luminous white marble, it changes its color and appearance with the time of the day, hour by hour. Let's meet our English-speaking guide courtesy of Palomino Hospitality. And the architecture work which has been done in here, they call it Indo-Islamic architecture work. So this is Hindu and Muslim both. It was all done in 1631 to 1653. It took 22 years to complete the Taj and that too with the help of more than 20,000 workers round the clock they used to work in here. It was a big project. So many people were being employed for such a long time. This has all been built by King Shah Jahan, the fifth Mughal emperor, and he built this out for the lady Mumtaz Mehal. Her real name was Arjuman Banu Begum. Arjuman Banu Begum, and she was a Shia Muslim. She was from Iraq. While giving birth to the 14th child, the lady passed away. But before her death, she wished and asked her husband that do remember me and do something so that the whole world remember their love story. This is a symbol of love or a symbol of promise what we see in here. We finally made it. And I am sitting on a seat that is Princess Diana sat here. And this is the center here to get a perfect picture. She sat on this bench and now I'm on it. Following our visit to the Taj, Prince William and Kate Middleton also visited, and in honor of Diana, they sat in the now famous Diana Bench. When you're in Agra, you can't miss seeing the Agra Fort, but you really should take the time to go and tour it. There's a lot of history at the Agra Fort. In fact, there was always a fort on this location since the 11th century. You heard of Emperor Humayun. He was crowned at this fort in 1530, and Shah Jahan had a hand in it too, as he planned to have the fort rebuilt in white marble, like he did with the Taj Mahal. But his son thought that plan was a little bit out of the question, so he imprisoned his father, the Shah, in its tower. At least he had a view of the Taj Mahal, which he could see every day right from the balcony. The Agra Fort had several huge gates, big enough for elephants, and several moats and drawbridges. Today, India's military is actually using a portion of the fort, so the tourists can only go in the Amar Singh Gate. There's a lot to see in this fort. It's really big enough to be a small town. One more fact. In 1837, the fort was the site of the battle where India beat the British. If your plan is to see the Taj Mahal while you're visiting India, you will be in the town of Agra. For many tourists, Agra looks and seems like the description of India that they imagined. It is rural, poor, with no view of progress from traditional old lifestyles. But in the midst are expensive luxury hotels catering to an affluent traveler. Just recently opened is the Crystal Saravar Premier Hotel, and it's right there in the tourist area. It can definitely boast. It's got a view of the Taj Mahal from many of its 136 rooms, all brand new. The rooms are richly colored with dark hardwood floors, king, queen, or double beds, and open or closed shades for the bath area complimentary Wi-Fi and satellite flat-screen TVs. The Crystal Saravar Premier is a boutique hotel. Its lobby is sparkling, leading to the Lattice Restaurant, where you will enjoy an elaborate buffet breakfast or dining out in its outdoor patio. In the late afternoon, prepare for a very tasty barbecue choice at the Sky Grill on the pool deck and take in a view of the Taj Mahal while you dine. Later, its bar will be the place to be. Keep healthy in its fitness area, health club, and spa with an array of treatments to soothe and relax. For business meetings, conferences, or special social events, the Crystal Saravoir Premier has a large banquet room designed to work for smaller, larger crowds. So if you want to ensure a stay in Agra with a Taj Mahal view, the Crystal Saravoir Premier will fit the bill. Hi, my name is Lokesh Kumar Upadhyay. I am the general manager for Crystal Server Premier Hotel Agra. 
On behalf of my entire team at the Crystal Suburb Premier Hotel, we look forward to welcome our guests from abroad and we wish them a very happy stay with us. Thank you. Before we go, I'd like to thank Palomino Hospitality for our great driver. He also drove for Tiger Woods. Good job, Vinky. No matter where you're from in the world, when you come to India, think of Palomino Hospitality. We flew over with Air India, and Air India has a new route out of San Francisco. It's a nonstop flight. It's long, but boy, they make you comfortable. You are going to be very comfortable with plenty of food and good Indian cuisine. Look no more when you plan to be in San Francisco. It's the best Western Plus. Grosvenor Airport Hotel, South San Francisco. Well, thank you for watching this special edition of Golfing Country. I hope you enjoyed the show just as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. All the best to you and yours, and we'll see you next week. What are you going to do for some fun today? I hope you get a chance to play. What are you gonna do Be sure to, to watch Golfing Country and Hotel Video Showcase in our regularly scheduled nationwide TV shows and catch up on all the golfing destinations we have visited on our YouTube channels, Golfing Country TV and Hotel Video Showcase.